Hi, this is Banger from epgstream.net. Now, in this tutorial, I'll be going through the setup and configuration of your XML TV guide pack. Now, to begin with, we need to open up a browser and head over to www.epgstream.net. Now, once you're there, look at the top of the screen and you'll see an XML TV guide pack link. Just click on that. And once you've read through the brief pack information, scroll down to the bottom and we'll be looking for the click here to download your copy of the XML TV guide pack. Now, clicking on this link will open up a new browser and take you to our support forum where we host most of our installation files. Now, once that page is loaded, we'll scroll down and we're looking for the latest version. Now, here you'll see our installation executable. So, click on that. And we're given the option to either save or run. It's probably lazier to run, so I'm going to click on that. Now, thanks to the magic of editing, I'll uh, just quickly skip ahead to the end of this download. Okay, now that our installation package is finished downloading, we'll click run again. And we're ready to begin the installation process, so move down and click next to begin. Now, once you've read through the end user license agreement and you understand it, click I accept and next. And for most users, the typical installation should be fine. This means it'll copy everything you need to your C drive program files folder. So I'm just going to move on to typical and click. And we're ready to begin installation. Now, this will copy all the files that you need onto your hard drive, plus install your services. Then once this is finished, we'll look at moving on to uh, actually configure your XML TV guide. So selecting the regions you need and uh, the country you're from. This process itself shouldn't take too long. And it uh, looks like it's almost finished. So we'll just give it a few seconds to complete. And that's it. Now that we've completed the installation, we're ready to move on to the configuring of your system. So that means getting XML TV download to download the data you need and uh, looking at guide service proxy, uh, which will load the information into Windows Media Center if you need to. Now, to begin the guide wizard to configure your system, make sure that the launch XML TV guide pack is uh, checked and click finish. So what we have here now is the XML TV Guide Wizard. This will take you through the process of configuring your XML TV Guide Pack, as well as doing a little bit of testing at the end to make sure that everything's been installed OK and configured correctly. So to begin, we'll just move down and click the Start button. Now, once you've read through the End User License Agreement and you understand it, just click I Accept and Next. Now, here you're given the option of installing only some of our components, but most people need both. XML TV download basically downloads your guide data from guide services, and guide service proxy loads it into Windows Media Center. So, in this example, I'll be using both components. So, next to continue. Uh, the guide wizard is just making sure that all your uh, XML TV and guide service proxy components are where they should be on your hard drive. And in this case, it looks like everything's A-OK. -okay. So next to continue. Um, just downloading the latest list of regions uh, that are available for you to download your guide data from. So it looks like everything's OK. So next. And the region we're going to use. Well, in this example, I'll be selecting my home region, which is Australia, and New South Wales. Now, your service provider is basically your guide service provider. And in Australia, there's only one real major guide provider, and that's OzTivo. Now, they provide two types of guide data. They provide pay TV data, such as Foxtel, and uh, free-to-air digital. So once you select that, um, we're ready to move on, but here there's an even more specific region which is New South Wales, Sydney City, and that's the region I want to use because that's where I live. So, next. Now, because I selected that region, it's given me a list of suggested channels, uh, SBS, ABC, 7, 9, and down the bottom, 10. Plus, if I want to tweak the guide a little bit, I can add 
some extra channels if I want, so win or NBN, or I can take away channels that I don't need, so 7 uh, and 7 HD. But in this case, I do need 7, and I'm not really interested in win or NBN. So once you've got your uh, channel listing, click Next to continue. This particular screen deals with where to put your data once it's been downloaded. You won't have to change this unless you have problems with uh, the default folder that's uh, displayed here. So click Next. Now, what the wizard is doing here is validating your license. Now, each of these components uh, requires a license to access advanced features. Now, if you don't have a license, don't worry. You can still download your data and you can still load it into um, Windows Media Center. It just means you don't get access to advanced features like uh, automated downloads or um, parental controls or um, channel renaming, things like that. So if you, don't want to, if you don't want to register and get a license, you don't have to. But in this case, I will. But if you don't want to, you can uncheck this. But in this case, I am registering, so I will check it. So the registration process is basically typing in your name. And this is the name that goes onto your license that we send out to you and your email address. Now, this is the email address that we send your license to, not um, it's not used to send you spam or offers and features. Okay, so to make your donation, uh, simply click on this link here, which will take you to our donations page. So if you just wait a few seconds, you will be taken to our, um, our donation information page, and it'll just basically go through, um, you know, what we need our donations for and, um, you know, how you can make a donation for us. So I'll just close that down and head back. And once your information's filled in, click Next. And it's just basically going through um, what you need uh, to be eligible for a license. Click OK. Now, what it's doing is it's sending your license information to um, us. So once we receive it, just give us 24 hours and uh, then we'll be able to send out a license to you. Click OK. Okay, so now that um, now that we've given it enough information, uh, and that information is uh, you know sort of which region we need our guide data for, um, it's ready to configure configure your components. So to begin, we uh, click Next. Now this can take a little bit of time depending on um, what options you've selected but it shouldn't take more than a minute or two. We should be expecting to see little green ticks. Um, if there's a problem, then uh, you'll see a red cross and a uh, description of uh, the problem. So we'll just wait for this to finish. Okay, now you'll notice in that last step that it uh, configures Windows Media Center. Now. In the old days, you'd have to do that manually using a, uh, a Windows registry patch, but uh, the guide wizard does it for you now. Station wagon cruising on the south of 16th. Tapping on my brakes to the sound of my beats. I got the red lights clicking to the sound of the heat.